In the town of my childhood, little of note ever happened. So when the albino deer was found drowned in the slough, having been driven onto the punky ice by dogs, the game warden brought the dead beast to the school. I might have been seven, or maybe six years old. I suppose we were made to line up, since that is how we were moved from place to place and were directed out the industrial doors to admire the animal sprawled in the back of a truck. We gathered around it, its whiteness a world, blood of distinction, its eyes pink and drying in the prairie air. We were told we could touch it, and these many years since that March day I can still see my hand, pink and small, buried into the white fur of the buck's neck, crackling with static and coming to life with the electric surge that animates all things. Later, a buck would be mounted and placed in a glass case in the bank, which is where the town kept things that were precious. Behind it, the art teacher rendered the bluffs and oils with the fussy hand of a miniaturist. And the buck remains there today in perpetual imitation of itself. Thank you.